Hey everyone, welcome to the Artisan Studio, and I am going to do a deck review today. Um, it's really exciting because this is one that I've had on my roster for a while now. Um, and it was actually my sister-in-law who encouraged me to get it, um, because she wanted it on her birthday list, so, so I, uh, I got her one. <laughs> Which she already knows. <laughs> But uh, I also got myself one too. So it is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Now there's obviously like lots of uh, reviews of this uh, deck already out. Lots of people working with it. Um, and yeah, it took me a while to to actually get the gumption and, and get it. I think because... Um, you know, some of the images are a little bit different, stray away from the ride away a little bit. Which I think is good now. For me, I was kind of now ready for something different, something a little bit uh, off the beaten path uh, in a way. Um, there is still a lot of influence for Ride Away with this uh, with this deck, so yeah, so I'm very happy about it and it's reading wonderfully. Um, so if you know the Ride Away system, uh, moving to the Wild Unknown, it's a pretty easy transition. It's not too bad. Um, if you haven't learned tarot and you're getting wild unknown you can and you can learn the system but when it comes to if you're wanting to learn more of a traditional system um it might be a little bit more difficult for you for that transition because you don't know it yet um yeah so already knowing right away and coming to this is good um, other way, it might, you know, you're just going to be learning another deck again. So if you're going from the Wild Unknown to the Right Away, it'll be like learning another deck. Um, not completely, but the images are different, right? So it comes in this wonderful box here. Uh, and it's just, it's all hand-drawn. She uses, um, oh gosh, what is her name? Where is it? It doesn't even say on here. You know what? I'll find it. I think it's Kim Cran. Kim Cran's? Cran's? I can't believe it doesn't actually have her name on the box. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. And it doesn't have her, her sheet either. That's nuts that she didn't put her name on there. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? Where is it? I'm pretty sure it's Kim Cran or Kim Cran's. Um, I think it's with a K the crayons. So, very sturdy box. This I'm actually going to keep my deck in this box. I actually usually have bags, like I have um, uh, some knitted bags and, you know, all different kinds of bags. I usually change them over from the box. I don't, the only one I have right now existing that I keep in the box is a nice fancy Lenormand box here with the uh, cereal Marchetti. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the only one. So it's kind of special that the Wild Unknown is going to be keeping its box as well. Because it's so beautiful. It's nice and sturdy. It even has this little ribbon here so to help pull out the cards. This is the backing, or the um, bottom of the box. And that's the back. And then the lid underneath has a little image there and some writing. It says, Welcome to the Wild Unknown Tarot. You'll find no wrongs or rights inside this box, only mirrors uh, for reflection. Open your mind, draw a card, and have fun on your journey. So that is the box. Quite nice and just slides together. The book isn't a book. Um, it is a... Uh, a sheet that's all kind of folded up and it kind of sits in there nice um, and it's actually quite nice I like it she does have a book you can get separate so you just go to the wild unknown site and I think it's about around twenty dollars US this is a self-published deck so it is a little bit more expensive than your average deck um, but it's totally worth it. Once you see these images, they're just gorgeous. So this is kind of talking about, um, we've got the Major Arcana, kind of talks about the Major Arcana a little bit, and then each of the suits. And then on the back, 
it kind of goes into a little more detail about each card and it's just a kind of a couple words so for instance uh, ace of wands inspiration and new beginnings so and that's about it um, for the majors they they give a couple extra words so for instance the fool is innocence naivety spontaneity and starting out so you get get a few extra words but yeah now I have heard as well that the words that they give in the sheet don't actually correspond with the book which is kind of crazy at least some of them don't um, so yeah that's something to take into consideration as well now I like pretty much every single card in this deck there's only one card that every time you see it I'm like, mm, not as much my favorite but I can still deal with it and work with it. This is the back and these are the cards. So it's kind of black, it's working with lots of blacks and whites and just little tiny bits of color. That was the Empress. And so my deck is all mixed up because I've been shuffling it and working with it and um, I've had uh, a week or so to work with it now so it's been really good really enjoying it a lot um completely impressed like i i thought i'd have more trouble but you know there's there's so much in the image even though it doesn't look like it like this looks so simple right it's just a tree but but if you look at how stable that tree is um there's so much uh, structure and it's a bit rigid you know it's uh very firmly planted in that ground you know it doesn't look like it's going to get toppled over very precise so there's there's a lot that you can read into these cards this deck is very much an intuitive deck as well um it really uh with the shading with the lights and the darks um the way that they play with each other, see here, I'll show you for instance, um, they they really, you know, you can kind of see this, this darker side and up here there's something being illuminated, right? Um, you know, there's, you, you get a feeling from just the way it's being shaded, which is huge. Um, and then you could even have this, you know, if this is next to it so so it really is a great deck it's um the cardstock is amazing it's very nice and thick it's a little bit thicker than your average deck so it's a little bit bigger as well um it's it's a little thicker so but it's it's great um it can shuffle i can do a full shuffle with it so the bridge and everything and some of these color, uh, cards just pop with so much vibrancy and so much color. It's just amazing. Um, and then others, it's just like little hints. So, you know, even this, just the way you, you've got like the, the rainbow here. And then you've got, it almost looks like speckles. So like that could even almost be seen as like rain um, or like a sun shower, um, you know, moving past the darkness. So, oh. It's just amazing. And then you can even start analyzing the way the sticks or the swords, um, the wands, or however the cups are arranged as well. This one's the nightmares one. <laughs> it's kind of gross. But that's the only one that's kind of gross. But I still like it because I think it's kind of whacked out and awesome. That's another thing too I really like about this uh, deck is she plays with chakra colors a lot. So if your eye say uh, leads onto one of the colors more than than another, you know you can really read into that and uh, what each chakra represents. There's also no people. So we have just um, animals, which is very interesting as well. Um, I think it's really great because you can kind of get a sense more about the energy of the card rather than all oh, this person is brown hair this person's red you know like it's not so much about the appearance it's more about what it's saying you can look into each of the animals and like the totem animal meaning so you can go further with that the way the lines are in direction um, that has a lot um, of weight as well in this in this deck oh there's so much there's so many layers that's that's really what it is is there's layers um, to this to this uh, deck to each card 
So, yeah, highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. And even if you are a beginner, you know, if these cards speak to you, I would say just go for it because it's amazing. And a lot of the meanings, the card meanings, do kind of refer back. Um, they're not completely, you know, left wing here. You know, they, they do refer back to the right of weight meanings um, in one way or another. So, yeah. So it can be interchanged. So you see even here, the play of color, the play of line, being bound, not being able to, you know, feeling um, your max as far as being stretched. You know, it's not going to go any further. You're, you're kind of stuck where you are. And then you can kind of hone in on, well, what color is coming out to you more? Is it in your throat chakra? Is it the blue? Is it something where you feel like you can't speak your truth? So, yeah. I love it. Love it, love it. So what I plan to do with this deck is actually um, do some more videos with it. Um, and do some path working with it, journaling with it, and just kind of showing you um, extra meaning. So it's like kind of the idea is to kind of go a little bit further um, than what you would see um, in the book or in the sheet here I guess more so I don't actually have the book so um, and it's just kind of path working like what else does this card mean to me that kind of thing so I'm going to be doing that with this this deck I really want to kind of sink my teeth in it <laughs> like to its fullest this is one of my favorite favorite card cards of the deck uh, yeah gorgeous the one I'm not a huge fan of and it's just one card, so that's really good of a deck. It's the Devil. Devil's never usually my favorite card anyways, but this one I'm just like, mm, I don't know. And it's, you know what it is? It's not even the fire or anything like that, or even the animal. It's the way he's looking at, <laughs> see, I'll, I'll zoom it in. See, he's just kind of looking at you with this, like, weird, just, like, kind of grin, like, <laughs> I'm nudging you on. <laughs> I just, ugh, hate that. It's like, stop it. <laughs> You go away, ego. <laughs> Don't want you. Anyways, this could be even seen as like a winter's night. So it could be like called cold. Anyways, this is a wonderful deck. I highly recommend it. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.